patient. You patient? Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. I am. I'm beautiful. You're beautiful. Yes, you are. I am. I'm incredible. Incredible? This is exactly what we like imagine. It's so funny. Like, when I see moments like this, I just I feel it. In my it's like all the hard work was worth it, all those soup. <laughs> Yeah, we did, we did, we did, we did, bro. We took a village, but we yeah. made it. We yeah. built it. Let's go. Yeah. This is big for better. My name is Heather Lowry. I am a wife. I'm a mom. I'm a leader. I'm a creative. I am a an executive. Um, I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm the founder. CEO and president of Summit Forward, and I'm also the executive producer of Big Fem Energy. Pre-COVID, I knew that I wanted to create this album. I started taking a couple of label meetings, and I didn't like the idea of someone else having the control over something that I wanted to do, and how that I was at their liberty to say yes or no as to whether or not this was a great idea, whether or not they would give us funding. What makes this album different is it's about the music and the message. Um, I didn't create an album based off relationships and favors. Like it's, it's really just about the music and what the music says and how it speaks to us as women. You know, some are strong. Um, some are pain, some are power, um, some are emotional, but everything's beautiful and everything speaks to the different experiences and the different challenges we face as women. I don't feel like I chose these artists. I feel like they chose me. <laughs> they came to me like through introductions, through you know having meetings and being referred or accidentally discovering something. Um, the only person that I had a relationship with before I started the album was Rhapsody. I remember calling her and her saying, of course, you know, yes, of course. The same case for every woman that's on the album. They said, I mean, just listen to the name, Big Femme Energy. I said, easy ass, you know, why would I not? I love what it stood for. Um, I'm all for women supporting each other and... The idea of different women collaborating to make an album just for the heck of it. To be a part of, you know, record making with you know, other women, I mean, it's a dream come true. Female artists and mixers and engineers and masters and production company, everything. Um, that is a vision that I wanted to support 100%. So I was like, look, let me know where you need me to tap in. I thought it was important to have females lead, you know, to have females dominate this whole project. Okay, no, we can't have it at 100% women from, you know, the artists, writers, producers, engineers, but for as much as I can control, I wanna make sure that those women are represented. I said yes to being a part of Big Femme Energy because of the way Heather pitched the business. So I think very rarely do we get approached with purely mission-driven projects, but ultimately I think inclusion in the music industry, specifically for women, is mission critical. I think it's really important to highlight female creators. There's not very many of us in this business. It seems like I'm always surrounded by men. This world was built and ran by men for so many years, and I just feel like it's time for like women to finally get a fair shot. I just want to be surrounded by women all the time who are on their shit, on top of their game, who are passionate about what they do. And we want to get to a place where there are more options to choose from, that it's just not three or four or five that we can select from, you know, that are talented and great. And who do it well and beautifully and share space together. I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, when you see dope women like Heather doing dope things to make space that we talk about that I, I want to see and that we need. It just felt right. I, I felt like really honored to be asked to be a part of it. I'm grateful to be a part of it. <laughs> yeah, when I knew that we had to create this album and Big Fem Energy and uh, create this space for women, I knew that it had never been done before. You know, and I just don't understand why it hasn't been done before. Um, it's only been done when it's connected to something else. But why can't we make music for the sake of making music? Isn't that what men do?
there are so many challenges that I face as a woman um, in the music industry. Um, but one of the biggest challenges that I say I face as a black woman is I, I have to work so much harder um, to get the respect and the opportunities that I deserve. And there's so many different issues that we have to deal with and confront as women. Whew. Man. Mm. <laughs> There's so many changes I would make to the music industry, to be honest. When I first got into this industry, it was like, oh, it's because I'm a young woman. And then I started to unravel it a little bit more. And then sometimes it was because I was a young black woman. You know, in the beginning, I had very little support from my colleagues. You know, as time went on and I was able to show and prove, and I had to show and prove harder than, you know, my other male, male colleagues. It's not something that they make obvious. You know, but it is something that you learn like, wow, I've had to do sometimes things three times, five times, 10 times harder for people to respect it. What I love most about being a woman is actually the underestimation that people have or the lack of expectations people have of you. I feel like I'm always proving somebody wrong. People's assumptions can be, well, what have you, what do I want to know about you? Like, what have you got to tell me that I don't already know? I'm always in spaces around dudes and I'm always having to fight for my space, which is really annoying because if I was a man, nobody would question my contribution. Nobody would be telling me how nice my booty looked, you know, while I'm writing a song. I remember one of my first sessions I had, a guy asked me if I had a boyfriend and I said yes and he got really angry. <laughs> And it was like, I thought we were making music. Um, so the, the lines can be blurred even with like your safety as a woman, I feel. The thing that I love the most about myself is the fact that I know the things that I've had to endure um, throughout this business since, I've been working since I was nine years old, but I still have the same heart. Um, and every day you see people's heart change and it's really easy for people to just kind of walk all over it or whatever but the one thing that i know and that i'm really 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 proud of it makes me a little bit emotional thinking about is the fact that i still have my heart you know and and that's something that i'm really proud proud of you know i've had a beautiful life if i die tomorrow i'll be chilling like seriously like i'm so grateful for everything that's happened to me <laughs> Sorry y'all, I'm such a I'm such a baby. <laughs> I'm such a baby, but yeah. Although we experience these challenges, like this album is it's a celebration. I just wanna let these women know, like listen, this is a safe space for you to be yourself and make music, make beautiful music and create real change while doing it and shit, maybe we'll even win some Grammys. <laughs> I am gonna manifest a Grammy. But, um, but yes, it's a celebration. It's a ce celebration of us. For me, the most beautiful thing about being a woman is the strength that we hold. I feel like we're so resilient. Like, it's actually mad. Like, we're so durable. Like, we go through a lot, but we still, like, rise with compassion and forward-thinking um, ideas. We have to fight to be heard. We have to fight to be understood. We have to fight to be respected to be taken seriously. And despite all of that, we're able to be some of the most compassionate, nurturing, loving, generous, beautiful creatures on this planet. I always say this, but being strong and vulnerable at the same time. Anybody who has that power is a very feminine, beautiful person. Being a woman means everything to me. I wouldn't change it. I love being a woman. Things are hard, but it's okay. I'm up for the challenge. What I love the most about being a woman is our strength and resilience. I feel like we get knocked down a lot <laughs> and we just get back up. So um, yeah, it's the, it's the power within us and the fact that we can kind of get through anything. I love the touch that women can bring to a set or to a project, the passion. I've seen Heather cry so many times <laughs> throughout this project. And I think that that's beautiful. I think that we should be attached. I think that we should be emotional. I think that that extra love and like attention to detail that we pay to whatever we do is what
continues to put us out there in a different way. You see something and you can tell that like a woman touched that project. I feel like being the minority in the room, being the only woman in the room makes your voice all the more louder, all the more reason for it to be heard. I want to make records and songs that are able to stand the test of time and move people emotionally and make them feel things, you know, that's the best music to me that really like touch you to your core. I've had so many people come up to me and tell me that they're still alive because of stuff I've said, that they understand themselves more, that they understand the world more. Just someone that came in and shook it up, you know, that, that challenged the status quo, um, that challenged what was supposed to be popular, that challenged in the time that I came up what women were supposed to look like. Someone that lit the fire under men's ass <laughs> and being like, yo, y'all can't really rap with me. Just to remind you, like, don't forget, women got bars. I'm tired of hearing, yo, she's a hot female. I would just want to be a, a rapper. I'm a hot rapper. I'm a great rapper. I, I hate when people put the female in front of the rapper. Like, I can go bar for bar with any of your favorite rappers. Give me the title, great rapper. What I'm happy about is, outside of the industry, that you see the more camaraderie and sisterhood. You know, you see uh, the ladies working together more and supporting each other more. And it wasn't always like that, so I just want more females to keep coming in and us sharing the light and showing each other respect. That's like the big yes for me. I think there's an advantage to having um, women around you that are there to listen, to challenge you, to provide both like intellectual and emotional stimulation. And when we come together and support each other and protect each other, like that energy is unstoppable. So for me, it's like the strength despite all that we go through and still being able to remain vulnerable and soft. Projects like this are an opportunity and a space for us to really show like, nah, we did that and so that the future generation can look and say, wow, you know, she did it, I can do it too. And for me, I mean, that's so important because... There's little girls out there who need to know you can do it. You can. I love the feminine touch and the feminine energy that women bring. And I feel like every woman that we worked with on this album brought their biggest big femme energy. My big femme energy is vibrant and powerful doing all the boss bitch stuff and looking good while doing it. My big femme energy is in my bank account, period. Creative beyond words and it's cool, man. Creating my own reality. Self-love. L-O-V-E. <laughs> my big femme energy is focus. To be fluid in everything that I am. Music. <laughs> Being original, don't be a carbon copy, um, you know, and create from within. I think that it's creating something substantial and doing it in the most beautiful way possible. My big fem energy is giving everything that I have and everything that I do, being the best version of myself and leading with love. Unapologetic authenticity, and loving myself despite a world that tells me at times I shouldn't. Every time I do something impactful, I'm always asked why. And my reason is why not, you know? Why not give women more opportunities? Why not turn the tables? Why not make things female dominated when historically everything is, is dominated by men? You know, I wanna create real change. Um, I want to start a revolution. I want to do something that's never happened. I want to make history over and over again. Growing up, I didn't have a lot, and I've been through so much. So I just want little girls to know, like, I want them to see this and know that they can do whatever they want. They can have it this too. They can do this too.